Hi, I'm Jeff Snow with Anderson Egla. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your L3 pressure transmitter. So we are, here we have a transmitter that is programmed with a range of minus one to six bar. It's reading zero bar, which is accurate. It's showing some signal on the bar graph indicating we're not at the zero, very bottom of our full scale output. If we look at our milliamp output, we are reading 6.29. That does represent a zero, P, zero bar on a range of minus one to six. We're gonna reconfigure the sensor with a range of zero to 100 PSI and see what it does to our output in our display. So we're gonna go into the menu and look at our configuration. The first thing we're gonna change is our units. So while with, with units highlighted, we're gonna select enter. We're gonna select three different units from three different units and the first one we want is process value. So we'll select enter here and it's gonna give, give us our choices. I'm going to go up to PSI, hit my menu key, that will lock that value in. All right. When I go, on to go back and see what I changed to, I'll hit my menu key a couple times, I'll go back to the top, and I can see I'm displaying PSI. I've had no change in my milliamp output because I haven't changed the units. I have, I have changed the units, I haven't changed the range. So we'll go back in to the menu, go down and select range. I did that wrong. Change the range, select enter. Lower range value is where we're going to output 4 milliamps. So we're showing 14.5 with a negative. So this is the equivalent to minus 1 bar. If you modify that, we'll use our up arrow, take it up to 0. Menu out of that. Nothing changes on our output until we exit the menu completely. So we're still sitting at 6.29 milliamps. Now let's change our upper range value. So 87.02 is the equivalent of 6 bar, so it just converted it over to us and we changed the units. We're going to take that up to 100. Okay. Menu out of here, exit out of that, and now the system is going to reconfigure itself. And when it's done, we'll see our output change and we'll see our new units. So now I'm sitting at zero PSI. I can see my bar graph is all the way at the bottom and my milliamp output from my sensor is at four milliamps. If I wanna add decimals to this, I can simply do that by using the up down keys to add more or less decimal positions after the, on the units. So these parameters are what's necessary at the bare minimum to configure an L3 if you don't specify your range and output units when you order it. Thanks for watching.